Hey guys, I want to share with you how to find your top 10 customers using a report in QuickBooks Online. First thing you're going to do is go to Reports, and we get to the standard page here. Get on down into the Sales and Customers, and we have a Sales by Customer Summary. That's a good one. Okay, what that's going to allow us... Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Um, I'm going to go back to that. That was a good report there, but I thought I clicked the other one. Sales. Oh, I did income by customer summary. Interesting. I want to do sales by customer summary. That one. All right. One of the things you want to do is um, change the order of the date. So how far back do you want to go? Pick a time frame there. You also want to make sure are you on the right um, accounting method. Accrual means that it shows all invoices, even if they haven't paid it yet. Where cash, different story, this is going to show us money that is actually paid based on the payment dates of the invoices and sales receipts here. Okay. I'll leave it at accrual. Now, it's an alphabetical order. Okay, so you got this 85,000. If I want to flip it so that the largest is at the top, I can go up to the sort button and sort in descending order. And then that will give us um, Omega is the first one, Johnson's two, and, and so forth like that, all the way down here. Now, um, there's not a way to cut off the top 10. We could go to customize. And um, there's no like filter that says, give me the top 10. So realize this will be every customer. But what you could do is you could easily uh, send it to Microsoft Excel, populate to Excel. And then from Excel, we could use Power Query or some kind of a simple way just to cut out the 11th and top you know, customer and on, if, if that mattered to you. OK. So that is our sales by customer summary. Now, one thing that's super important here to know is that all of these numbers that you see here are going to come from an invoice or a sales receipt. So, you know, your traditional invoice and sales receipt. So that means if you have, um, if you use Square to accept payments, you're not going to have, and you have, you're not, treating each individual if there's no invoices or sales receipts in here um, it's not going to show up here um, so for example if i was on the bank feeds let's say i was on the bank feeds and and let's find something here all right let's just pick this first one here 51 so let's imagine that was a customer we'll call it um one alpha directions and we'll just do sales. This is typically not what you want to do. You don't want to add it. You could. It's going to show up on the income as sales, but it will not show up on that report. So if I add that and I show you that in just a second here, that's just a bank deposit. That's not going to populate on the sales report. So that's a disadvantage of that. You got to have, you got to have, um, sales receipts or sales invoicing to be able to populate that report that I just shared with you just a second ago there. Okay. So um, keep that in mind. There are ways to make a correction here, but the point of this, this uh, video here is just simply show you, you want to know who your top invoices are and sales receipts, your customers just search the sales by customer summary. That will, that will get you what you want. Change date range, sort it, descending order, and we're, then we're good to go from there. All right. You guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.